Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be simplifying the document.querySelector method in JavaScript. This video is the pattern of a new series I'll be starting on my YouTube channel where I show you different ways in which you can select elements from the DOM with JavaScript. And like I said, in this video, I'll be starting with the document.querySelector method. So what is the query selector method? This method of the document object allows you to select elements from the DOM that matches a specified CSS selector or a combination of multiple selectors. Now, if you don't know the different selectors that we have in CSS, you can check a previous video I made on my channel. I'll be leaving the link in the video description. In that video, I showed you 11 ways in which you can select elements in CSS that you want to style. So those same selectors that you use in CSS for selecting elements, you can also use those same selectors with the query selector method. And then this method would return the first element in the DOM that matches the specified CSS selector. So join me as we go through some examples to show you how the query selector method works. I'll be using this example to show you how the document.querySelector method works. Like I said, the query selector method returns the first element that matches the specified CSS selectors. And over here in the console, I'm going to show you the syntax. So you have query selector and then you have the selectors argument. This selectors argument, like I said, is any valid CSS selector. So it's going to be in a string like this and you can pass as many selectors as you want. You can pass classes, you can pass IDs. You can also use the different combinators that I explained in my previous video. So let's say we want to match the first element that has a class of container. I can come here and in this selector, like you know with CSS, if you want to match classes, you use the period and then you have the class name. So I can have it like this and you can see it matches this first div that has a class of container. Let's say I assign this to a variable. So let's say I say constant container is equals to document.query selector and then here we pass the container like this so here i can say container dot class name and you can see it has a class name of container i can also say container dot children and it's going to return this p element which is a child of the container i can assess as many properties as i want on this container that was selected from the dom using this selector now let's say i want to use a different selector i'm going to say container p like this and then i'm going to use the p element like you know in css a selector like this means that we are selecting elements that have the p tag name and then those elements are descendants of an element with the container class now when i try to do container p like this you can see it matches this p that says i am a text too because that is the paragraph element that matches our selector here you can say container p dot class name apparently the, the p doesn't have any class so this is going to be an empty string now what if i actually wanted to get all the elements in the dom that meet a specified selector or selectors then i can use the document.query selector all document.query selector returns the first element while the document.query selector all returns all the elements that meet the specified selectors in a collection so here if i pass the same selector i used earlier container you can see now it returns a collection of two items the first div that has a class of container and the second div that has a class of container let me quickly show you another example so let's say this div has an id of box one and this div here has an id of box two i can come here and i can see document.query selector and i can use my selector like this as you know in css this means an element that has the container class and also has the box one id okay i have to refresh actually so it has the container class and a box one id now when i press enter you can see it matches this first element because this first element has a container class and also has the id of box one and because i use query selector all you can see See, this also returns an array with just one item inside if i change this back to query selector and let's say i have box two it's going to match the second item now what if you specify a selector and no element matches it let's say i come here and i specify an id that doesn't exist you see we get null so query selector would return null if there are no elements that matches the selector and if there are any elements it's going to return the first item while query selector all will return an array of elements that match the selector and if it doesn't find anyone let's say i change this to all if it doesn't find anyone it's going to return an empty array so this is just one way on how to select elements from the dom in this series like i said i'll be explaining other ways so if you enjoyed this video like it subscribe and also look forward to more ways i'll be sharing on how to select elements from the dom using javascript